All right, I'm gonna go head out to the camper to see if the heat's on because I wanna do a little painting and I have something I wanna try out and Tom's actually on the phone with his sister right now and so I kinda wanna try it out while he's not present. Because in case you haven't noticed, he doesn't always have a super open mind about things or my ideas. And so, um, yeah, we're just going <laughs> to... No! He found me! Darn it! <laughs> Did you see me coming out? Yeah, what are you doing? Nothing. I was just going to go see if the heat's on in the camper. You put that back in the house. The camper is completed. This is what I have with me. It's just, it's nothing. All right. Uh, I'm taking those LP tanks with me. You're not right. getting any heat. We'll just go see if the heat's on. Nothing to see here. Go back to what you were doing. Hey, Why are you coming with me? Supervising. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, Tom actually decided he wanted to bring the camper out of the shed and park it in front of the house so it's easier to pack because we have a lot of packing to do. And this is the first time of me seeing everything we done, did with daylight. And I don't know, I just feel like it looks so awesome. So now, we need to get packing, but I always want to do the like last minute projects, right? So um, I wanted to paint black behind the backsplash and to just see what that would look like. And then we have some like, I don't know where Tom put them, some wood grain tiles that we might put up. So I want to see what that looks like. And then I also wanted to paint black behind these bins here just so they kind of like, so it sets them off. I don't think Tom would agree with that. Um, so I just want to try it. And if it doesn't look good, I, I'll paint over it, but um, Anyway, I don't know. Well, as with most of my ideas, I don't know if it'll look good or not, but I thought a little contrast always looks good, so we'll just see, we'll, we'll just see. So basically right now, uh, we're like a couple days from wanting to leave, and we have two big concerns and two minor concerns. I would say we have one super big concern, one concern we've had for a long time, and then a bunch of other concerns. <laughs> So should we start with the big concerns sure. first? All right. Sure. Are we calling the excursion the big concern? Or yeah. Like, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. The big expensive concern. So we bought the excursion because we wanted a diesel vehicle that sit, fit six comfortably. In the past we used Tom's truck, but it meant one of the kids was in the front seat with us. So Tom had found this excursion. Unfortunately, every time we pulled with it, we had- A breakdown. Some every kind of breakdown, time. including a, a pretty big one when the radiator blew on the way yeah. up to our first camping yeah. trip. Um, since then, Tom's done a ton of work on it, put a bunch of money into it, and now even just recently, what happened this week? Um, actually, I just got done doing a whole bunch more work through it, and I went to test fire it down in Don's parents' shop, and it wouldn't start. And I didn't touch anything affecting it starting or not <laughs> starting. And so I ended up having to put it on a trailer and haul it down to his shop. So Tom, where are we going for the second time today? We are going to the shop that is fixing the excursion again. <laughs> they fixed it and then we went to pick it up and then it didn't start after I paid for it. <clears throat> <laughs> then, I, then they fixed it again. Uh, it was a wiring issue the second time. My confidence was already kind of <laughs> dwindling in this vehicle and now <laughs> this isn't helping it, we'll say that much. So oh, no, it's absolutely not. No. <laughs> Where's your confidence level at with it now? But I'm going to drive it all weekend to make sure that she don't die on me before yeah. we hook a trailer up to it. So now it's running. So now we've been driving it for three days uh, everywhere because I was like, yeah. we have to drive this everywhere before right. we leave to make right. sure it's like if it's going to yeah. break, break now. Yeah, so I mean, and if you'll recall on our trip uh, last year about this time, I mean, Tom had a newer vehicle, so we know it's not, n it, new vehicles, old vehicles, you can just have problems. Mm -hmm. And so we were like in the middle of nowhere and had his tranny go out. So I think we kind of have that in the back of our minds and are like, do we really want to drive all I've, the way to Florida with a vehicle like this? So after last year's experience and now having the excursion, so I built like a full blown, toolbox mm -hmm. uh like it's like a service truck <laughs> and i unloaded almost every tool out of my big roller toolbox in our garage into the excursion or the camper yeah so if we break down i have everything to fix anything with so that's so we're the good part. really just hoping that we don't need any of it yeah and we are heading to florida which we don't expect really to be in remote areas like we did we were in texas so if right. there were any problems We've also had some nice friends say, hey, right. if you need help, <laughs> let us right. know. Right. So, 
I think that gives us a little bit of peace of mind. So I don't know, we'll we'll just see, we'll show you. I mean, we went back and forth, Tom has a different truck now if we would just use that, but even that is just, I, uh, we've never towed with it before. Right, and right. so anyway, so we're just gonna hope for the best, hope we got everything worked out now. I actually told Dawn, I said, we should probably bring the title to the excursion with us <laughs> in case it doesn't come home. Yeah, <laughs> so we can just leave it down there. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. All right, so uh, major concern number two is the slide in the camper. Um, I don't know, when we first bought it, it didn't sound as bad. Maybe because it was warm out? I think we were young, naive, <laughs> excited about a new project. Yeah. The slide on this camper's style is called a Schwintex slide. If you were in the market for a camper, I would say do not buy a camper with a Schwintex style camper slide. Okay. Uh, there are two styles of slide mechanisms. mechanisms for campers with slide outs on it. That is the one I would steer you away from. Okay. And yeah. that's the one with the like wavy track? Yep and it runs on gears and the motors and all of the mechanisms are inside the walls of mm -hmm. the camper. I would get the other style which has rails under the camper and it just drives it inside and out okay. and it rides on those rails. That is the better style slide. And so it's been noisy and slow and, and it, gets stuck. Especially and... in the cold weather like it's it hasn't been smooth. Mm -hmm. So what did you get? I got two new motors for it which I, we don't have time for me to put them in. So we're gonna bring them with along with all the tools. So if I need to replace the motors, I can replace the motors. But part of me feels like it's more than motors. Part of me feels like it's, so there's a big long shaft that runs the whole, from floor to ceiling inside the wall of the camper. And that runs on like a guide plate. And part of me wonders if that whole shaft isn't. Yeah, so would you have moving. to like open up the walls to see that? Yeah, or? you just sell it. <laughs> there's. You Disclose know, it and sell it. Yeah. As you can tell, we don't hang on too tightly to material nah. possessions nah. around here. It's all liquidatable. <laughs> if it's got wheels or motors, it's all liquidatable. <laughs> all right, so then let's get to the more minor concerns. Uh, we noticed our first trip with this camper that it did not have a lot of storage. Right. And like the, at all. Like the cabinets and closets it had all had hanging rods in it, which just mm -hmm. wasn't super functional. So Tom's been working on adding in some storage. All right, so I'm gonna let the paint dry and then I'll show it to you. I got the backslash painted. I thought maybe we could leave it black, but it's too dark. So um, I'll show you the sticky tiles that we have to put up over it. And then I have some artwork I wanna hang up. And then, cause again, I'm thinking fun stuff and Tom's like, just get it packed. <laughs> and then we have sheets for the beds I need to get on. I found these on clearance at Target for really inexpensive, so I'm excited about that. And so I'm gonna work on that right now. Okay, seriously, making beds in here is worse than like bunk beds. So I'm gonna go up to this bunk to put this sheet on, but while I'm up there, I'm also gonna put up the curtain rods that we got. So I just got these like, well, I thought they were command hooks. They're not, they're just adhesive, but the review said that the adhesive didn't stick, stick very well. So I we got, um, these gorilla squares so i'm peeling the adhesive that came with them off and putting these on so the hope is then that these curtain rods are going to stick really well and we won't have any problems with them okay so i'm getting the bunks made still it's not pretty i got the curtain rods up i need to get the curtains but one of the problems we had was that this cabinet actually had a, a hanging rod in it which was just not super functional for camping so tom built in these shelves which look awesome. He kind of like made little legs for them because you know how campers are built. <laughs> there wasn't only really anything to use on the sides. And so I'm just using some random like storage containers we had around the house. We had these baskets from our last camper. So I'm like, well, let's just put them in there. They'll be perfect for like socks and stuff. And then I was just gonna see. So, oh, look at that. Nice. So we could put a basket and still like put some stuff in there nice cool and then I have this one might work oh no it might not fit oh it's not oh, it'll work okay pull that one out and put that one up there cool I mean these are huge shelves I think they're gonna have no problem 
um, storing all their clothes and stuff in there. So that works awesome. Or even like, it may look like there's a lot of storage. Like if you look at like this divider between our bedroom and the like the, the rest of the camper, it looks like, oh, well, there's good storage there, but it's only like, yeah. it's only like six inches deep. Like, like you can't even really put. I don't know what you put in there. I don't like, know what you put in <laughs> there either. Shelves this deep, like, yeah. yeah. And then this pantry cabinet was the other one that just had no, again, it had a hanging rod in there. Um, there's just like so much hanging storage in here. So because this is our pantry, um, Tom again built like another riser and then we got these stackable wire bins. I mean, do I think they're like the most ideal solution ever? Probably not. I, I just already can see them getting kind of messy and unorganized and hopefully it won't be too hard to put stuff in there, but still way better <laughs> than what we had going on before. And then one last one here that we wanted to improve ugh, was here in our bedroom, which again, another lovely hanging rod. So we got one of these hanging organizers. So I'm gonna put that in there quick and see if it works or I don't know. Now that I look at it, it might be too wide. So let's see if that's gonna fit or not. Ta-da! Oh, that fits perfectly actually. Okay. Nice, it's like <laughs> the perfect width and height. That's like quite possibly the easiest organization I've ever added anywhere. <laughs> awesome, well I'm gonna get rid of those hangers then because we do not need them. And we just always put like sweatshirts and different things, but otherwise I think that's gonna be much more functional. And one of the only like, I guess like cosmetic things we had left to do was the backsplash. And so I had remembered Tom when you put in the tongue and groove in our other camper mm -hmm. and it was just like, oh, that added a nice little like rustic element. And so I felt like we needed the camper to look a little more camper-y and not like so like house, Wait, I don't this know. Look, what does this look like? <laughs> a little more rustic, I guess, I don't know, cabiny. Um, uh -huh. Well, if you wanted it to be more rustic, we should have not painted the cabinets and left it all wood. Yeah. Isn't that what a camper looks like? I'm glad we painted the cabinets. Yeah. Anyway, so... We'll add in faux wood. Yeah. Paint was... over the original yeah, and add right. back fake wood. <laughs> um, so I was looking, you know, at the different peel and stick uh, backsplashes. Knew I didn't want to do like subway tile or anything like that. Again, trying to have it feel a little more rustic. So I did find this on Amazon. It, it is peel and stick and it's, you know, just like wood paneling. So here's what the backsplash Tom's been working on, which I think looks really cool. You can see it's dark. I think we thought we were going to have this done a lot earlier today. Yep. <laughs> it's a little tedious, especially around the curves, huh? Yep, I had to make a template Oh, here. that's how you're doing it. Yeah, so I made a template so I could get my curves right, because that's the hardest part. Yeah. And then I wanted to paint it black behind so you'd actually see the lines in it. Otherwise, like grout. from what I'd seen like yeah. pictures, it kind of all just blended together. Mm. I, I really like how it turns out when you look at it. I'm not sure if the black lines go with the rest of like the flooring and stuff. No. So <laughs> in hindsight, I maybe wouldn't have done that. Um, Thank you. But I do think it looks pretty cool. Uh, we're always concerned with peel and stick things it, because of the extreme temperatures. So we just decided there were some of the reviews said that some of the um, panels fell down. And so we just decided that if they're, if any of them fall off, we'll just get some spray adhesive and then yeah. stick them back on. The other reason though, too, that I wanted to make the little gaps between them is people did say they expanded and contracted quite a bit mm. with heating and cooling. So then I thought if we have gaps, then we don't worry as much about that, but. I don't know. I still really like how it turns out. And really the whole camper now, it was really fun when Tom brought it out in front of the house and we had like daylight in here because then I felt like we could really appreciate how light and bright it is in here with the white paint and everything. Tom still doesn't care. He's thinking about like tools and excursions. <laughs> no, I'm thinking about like the, the mechanics of everything. Yeah. Okay, so this bathroom needs some attention. It doesn't look as bad on here. Um, but like the primer that was on the plastic flaked off everywhere. And so we've been working to clean all of that up. So, and then this mirror hasn't gotten cleaned up yet. So we need to do that. And in the grand scheme of things that absolutely do not matter, I got this picture that I want to hang up right there. 
I'm gonna use some Velcro command strips. Those have worked really well in the past. And then I got a shower curtain on clearance we're gonna put up with the liner. So I'm gonna get to work on that. I just liked the saying on this. I thought it was kind of good. Then the other thing you did, you got the table put together so we could show you how, kind of how we're expecting that to function. All right, so here's our beautiful table along our full-size couch. So the kids can sit here with this table underneath here to eat breakfast and do crafts and whatever. But if we want to pull out the table underneath and move it around, I can just pick it up and hit everything <laughs> on my way out. I'm glad that didn't hit my toes. Right. Oh, I forgot I put one chair inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> See how well this is gonna work? Yeah, I mean it's seamless, really. <laughs> so then this one we can either put over here. Yeah. To put stuff at. Yeah, to like cook. I can pull up my TV tray. <laughs> and I can sit here and eat my food. Yeah, and the kids and can sit. And watch TV. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll have like an awesome view out that window or something. Yeah. So that's yeah. the idea. Mm -hmm. So we can move it around. We could move that one out too. That one's just sitting there too. Yep. Um, and some people asked, like, what do we do securing this stuff while we travel? Mm -hmm. um, it's not going to go anywhere. So yeah. the slide comes into like here. Mm -hmm. Like, so the slide comes way in. Yeah. So and then be. like stuff doesn't actually move around in a camper as much as you would think. Right. Like this stuff, this will have to get moved. This won't stay here. Yeah. But like the table and stools, none of that will go on. They'll be fine. That'll all be fine. Yep. Especially couch, this one kind of tucked under too in case you yeah, could the couch, tell that. <laughs> right. The couch won't go anywhere. That all, like yeah. all this stuff, nothing will move. Unless we roll the camper over, then I think it'll all move. Let's not bit. do that, okay? Well, I got to set the distribution picture. <laughs> so. I think it's going to, I think that's going to work really well. I do too. So you're, so you're saying you're okay not having the dinette anymore? Well, I'm okay that it's gone now. Okay. Okay, just checking. <laughs> See, look how seamless and yeah. I didn't smack the wall at all. <laughs> okay. We got a TV for the kids? Yeah, we got a big Smallest screen. Smallest TV they sell at Walmart. Yeah. Yeah, really, it kind of fills it up. And it's still <laughs> kind of huge for that spot. Yeah. So we'll bring our DVD player, so if they want to watch DVDs back there. Yeah. And then otherwise in this TV spot up here, we'll Tom, put a picture. yeah, we have a picture, we have our map, and then Tom put some of the um, wood planks behind there too. So I think that looks really cool. So, I mean, I'm going to keep packing the camper. The kids just got all their clothes together in the living room. Um, and so I'm going to keep packing, grab some food. Uh, Tom's going to keep worrying about <laughs> mechanical. No, stuff. I have to set up the distribution hitch on this because we put, I put airbags in the back of the excursion and we're going to try and help it handle a little better it always feels like it kind of floats a little bit in the front end and so I put airbags in the back so now I have to reset up the distribution hitch for the airbags um, and then I got to test drive this whole big thing so you can't be in here for very long yeah that's okay I, it didn't take long to pack the camper last time so I'm not too worried about that so I think it's all coming together and we're just gonna hope and pray for the best and <laughs> see how it goes. Like, if not, we'll bring you along and you can experience yeah, it with us. Yeah, I mean, we don't really have a lot of other options <laughs> right now, right? Besides, well, we do. We could stay home. Sell it, buy some plane tickets, and get out of here, right? <laughs> it's tempting. I shouldn't even joke about that right now. And the kids would be very upset. Yeah, no, they love camping. It's gonna be good once we get on the road. Okay, well, we're gonna finish packing up and uh, we'll be excited to share with you how the trip goes and. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, and it's snowing <laughs> right now, so let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, right? <laughs> Sounds good. All right, well, we hope you have a great weekend. We love you, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.